Good morning, folks. We're starting with yesterday's filament snap, where the trailing portion of the megafilament erupted into space. The CME is mostly headed behind Earth's orbital trajectory, so most will miss. But you can also see material coming out at the top, the bottom, maybe even a bit to the right. That means it was a very wide burst and may impact Earth. Right now, we're looking at sometime tonight or tomorrow, Wednesday morning at the latest. The impact should not be too bad. But it was a bit of a CME bonanza yesterday, coming out bottom left, coming out bottom right, and we can also see two CMEs beginning to erupt in the north over the last few updated images. Many of these were backside blasts or at the limb, but still, it was a bigger uptick day for our star with CMEs going out in multiple directions. We expect even more as Mercury comes into solar conjunction at the end of this week. Mostly these eruptions are filaments as the flaring is low. That could change soon with the sunspots developing further. Right now the southern sunspot group is growing and morphing, but still spread magnetically for now. Next eruption looks like it could be the incoming filament. It is destabilizing this morning. Looking at the solar wind, we were seeing a lowering of telemetry until the last few hours where a slight tick upwards occurred. There was a detectable shock to the magnetic shield and some resonance developing, but it was way below what is needed to create instability at Earth, and our shield is fairly calm. Our top West Pacific storms are still sticking around, May Sac nearly at Hong Kong, and now the newer storm just north of Papua New Guinea, which took the only two five magnitude quakes yesterday, bit of earth spot potential. But with all those solar eruptions, the Uyen factors are high, and we've also got new storm formation in the Indian Ocean. Twins churning around here, with the eastern system being a bit closer to Australia than one initially realizes, and its track is expected to bring it to Perth, so eyes on that one. While we're down under, I might as well note that tonight's top alert is a convergence cresting over New Zealand bringing the most clouds and storm potential. We had yet another volcano erupt yesterday. An Easter dusting came over the region around the Turrialba volcano. Locals know what to do so there wasn't much chaos, but folks up on the viewing mesa got a bit more than they bargained for. Let's note a strong low between continents drawing a convergence line down and bringing storms to these localities here. A bit further down the coast, we see another low just offshore. It's been here for days and still delivering that weather to the northwest and U.S.-Canada border region. The rest of the nation is ruled by the Gulf moisture coming up. Tonight, the storms return and severe alerts are possible for the next few days. Check your forecasts around lunchtime. We've got some circulation just offshore of Spain and Portugal, while that same flow in the north is still aiming for the coastlines there. We'll jump back to the wind overlay to note the low to the southwest, and that same high pressure up north wrapping the clouds and moisture around to Norway. Last alert, it's a flash flood warning where the convergence reaches back up here to the east coast of South America. The lows in this region steal the moisture from the tropics and can be diabolical. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.